pickaxe right here just got released and it's one of the rarest pickaxes in Fortnite and today we're going to be showing you guys how to unlock it for free along with a brand new skin bundle that just got announced and some new changes coming to the item shop in Fortnite's next update that we have early looks at. Lots of awesome stuff in today's video so make sure you guys stick around you're not going to want to miss any of it. And we send a gift in every single video here on the channel it does look like we got a new icon series emote called Starlet so we're going to be sending this as today's gift. If you guys want to receive a gift in a future video all you have to do is drop a like make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on and also leave your epic usernames down in the comment section below and a big shout out to everyone using code derp2 in the fortnite item shop you guys make these videos possible so thank you so much for your support it really helps me out but it all started when the sunfall scythe was actually added into the fortnite files in the last update and as you guys can see there is actually three different versions of this pickaxe that come in different colorways with slightly different designs but the one we're focusing on today is the sunfall scythe which is actually the red harvesting tool and two days ago fire monkey tweeted saying the fortnite news feed for japan begin advertising getting the sunfall scythe pickaxe via purchasing and redeeming v buck cards from october 1st till october 31st there's still an unreleased midnight scythe and dawning scythe pickaxe which were the other ones we looked at those are most likely just going to come out into the item shop but the sunfall is special now clearly this promotion is exclusive to japan which is kind of a bummer because all you have to do is buy a v buck card which you can get for seven dollars these days and redeem it and you would get a free pickaxe as a bonus but luckily for us someone did find a working and pretty easy method on how anyone around the world regardless if you're from japan or not can actually unlock this pickaxe still using a different method so there's actually a total of five different steps for this method to actually work and i'm basically just going to give you guys a brief overview of how this guy that lives in the united states was able to still redeem and get the pickaxe Oh, someone locked it down. That means they got the vault. Yeah, we're getting out of here, boys. I have a gray AR. I'm not trying to fight someone with a mythic. Get out of here, brutal noodle. <laughs> I like that name. So step one is to actually go to cloud gaming and click try free plan. This is a weird method where you're actually gonna have to make a new account, but it is free. And the only aspect of this where you do need to spend money is to obviously still have a V-Buck card that you're able to redeem because that is literally the entire point of this little collaboration Fortnite's doing for Japan. Now he does go on to say, do not use a VPN while creating your account on the cloud gaming, or it will block you from creating an account for up to five days. So that will be kind of a time torch. So make sure that when you guys are making your account, you don't need a VPN as of yet. You can just create it normally, regardless of where you live. Now for step three, once you have created your account, you're going to log in to the GeForce Now app using a VPN this time connected to obviously Japan, because the whole point of this method is to trick the Epic Games launcher into thinking you live in Japan based on your region and account. So that way, when you redeem the V-Buck code, they know to send the pickaxe to your Epic. Now for step four, you actually need to download either Urban VPN or .VPN, which is a Chrome extension, and set your country to Japan on those once you download them. Then you go to Rocket League and select Epic Game Store and then click the play button. So basically, you need to launch Rocket League once you have the Chrome extension VPN downloaded, uh, but you need to make sure you do it off the Epic Game Store and not just the regular launcher. Now, for the fifth and final step, once it loads, GeForce Now will ask you to log into your account from the Epic Games launcher. You simply click login using the PSN account and then use the Edge browser which will create a new tab and then you go to epicgames.com you log into your account and go to settings once you scroll down you should see something like this in the photo region area and you basically just set it to Japan and then from there you're good to go once that says Japan all you need to do is redeem the V-Buck card on the Epic Games website with the Epic Games account that you have linked and then you will actually get the Sunfall site added to your account like I said if you do this anytime from October 1st to October 31st you will get the pickaxe for free and then obviously if you do live in japan already then you could just do this normally you don't have to do all these extra steps that is just a method uh and kind of a workaround to do it regardless of where you live it is a little bit confusing i know that some of you younger guys might not be able to do this but um there is tutorials out there with step by steps showcasing themselves doing it which might make it a little easier and in other news we actually did get a brand new chunk of free rewards that just got announced earlier this morning it is hot off the press this information is coming from fire monkey but he did tweet saying there is a brand new FNCS skin bundle coming out for this season's FNCS 
FCS event, which is actually coming out here very, very soon. As you guys can see, here is two of the brand new FNCS skins, along with a bunch of other cosmetics and rewards. And although the skins aren't necessarily going to be free, they're most likely going to drop into the item shop. We do actually have four free rewards, including a new back bling that everyone is able to earn. And I'll show you guys exactly how to unlock it right now. So as you guys can see, here is all four of the free rewards you were able to earn a part of the FNCS event. For the first one, which is the Raise It High emoticon, you need to watch for 30 minutes on day one at Legends Landing or at the competitive.fortnite Twitch. To unlock the Infinite Victory Spray, you need to do the same thing, but on day two. And then on day three, if you watch for 30 minutes, you unlock the Champion's Loading Screen. And then finally, if you watch for an hour on day three, you will actually get the Scorekeeper Backbling. So basically, you watch for 30 minutes on day one and two, and then day three, if you watch for an hour, you will unlock all four free rewards. It's very easy to do, even if you guys don't really care about FNCS like me, you could simply just go to Legend Landing, watch it, leave your controller AFK, and then you could literally go and do something else, come back in 30, 45 minutes, and you'll get the rewards unlocked on your account, and it's very, very easy to do. It's one of those things that everyone should take advantage of this, especially because the backlink is pretty cool. Get laser! This man wanted the smoke! Oh man, he was just watching me over there too. Oh, he had a legendary... Okay, we are taking that for sure. Nice little upgrade to the inventory. Alright. <laughs> that, that guy didn't even bother trying to shoot back at me. He was just taking it. Oh, the guards are here. And just like that, they are here no more. I don't even care about knowing where the next zone is. I simply just want some of these slurps. Oh my goodness, this man tried using the force thing on me. Get out of here with that. Now, on top of these upcoming free rewards, we also have some pretty good insight at a massive change coming to the item shop in the next update of Fortnite. As you guys can see here, here is the earliest versions of the item shop update, which obviously don't give you too much information because these were found a few months ago, but we have some newer versions that were just released after the last Fortnite update that uh, look a lot more complete. And honestly, the new UI does look pretty nice. It seems like Fortnite's just trying to make it a lot simpler to navigate by also adding a lot more sections, tabs, and just having more stuff in the item shop without it being cluttered. And luckily for us, we also have an actual video someone was able to get recreating the new UI for the item shop. So I'm going to let that play out for you guys. And we also have footage of all of these sound effects the item shop's going to make as well, because Fortnite did add some new sound effects for different sections and basically just to make it feel entirely new and fresh. So yeah, there you guys have it. Of course, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think that these new changes of design and layout and everything in the shop are good? Or do you guys prefer the one that we have now currently? I think my favorite part about it is when you click on a skin, it displays it on the right hand side without having to zoom in and, and lose the rest of the item shop. But uh, I know there's a lot of people that probably enjoy the traditional shop layout we have now. So let me know your guys' thoughts. I know that this is a kind of a touchy subject. Some people don't like change. Epic is obviously trying to change the game pretty good here. So we'll have to see uh, what happens oh my man got absolutely beamed out of the sky that's why you don't use balloons man balloons suck yeah that's what you get i don't know why he's coming out of zone so late but uh we'll be seeing you dude all right we're top five boys let's see if we can get this dub real quick we have some pretty good loot could use a better submachine gun i guess but oh speaking of better submachine gun that works out literally perfectly we're gonna pop this, we're gonna take this. Oh, we are set, fellows, we are set. Oh God, this guy has the P90, it scares me. I, I said the P90 scared me, and you guys can see why. That gun is literally disgustingly broken. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.